Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about another important topic that is dynamic zone visibility. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So we are going to learn how to do sheet swapping using dynamic zone visibility. And we will also see how the same we used to do using a traditional method. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have created three sheets which has bar chart, line chart, and a pie chart. Okay, these three sheets I have already created. Now, if you remember our old use case, okay, uh, before we had the traditional, uh, before we had this dynamic uh, zone visibility concept, based on this, like if I select a bar chart, bar chart used to get displayed, line chart, and pie chart. This is what we used to do. So same thing I'm trying to implement here. So I have already created a parameter here called as select, you know, chart type and which has all the chart types that way that I need. I have added an extra option called as all because my intention is when I select this all, I want all the values or all the charts to show up. That is what I want. Okay. So now after creating that, if we used to solve it, you know, in, in a typical use case, what we used to do, like say we used to select, like say, because this is a bar chart, I'm selecting this, I'm going here, okay? I'm creating a custom list and I'm writing it as bar here, okay? So this will become true when we select a bar chart, same like this, I'll do it for my line chart as well. Use the same calculation on the filter shelf, add it to custom value list, so before you know uh, previous versions, uh, this used to directly work when we used the select from list option. But you know after some latest upgrades in the Tableau versions, that that is not working. So we are using custom value list option. Click on apply. Okay. Same likewise for pie chart. And I'm going to select pie chart from here. Take this into filter shelf. Go to custom value list and add pie from here. Okay. So three things we have already added, okay? Apply, okay. Now all you need to do is, you know, take a container here and drop it here on your dashboard. And I'm going to add all my three sheets onto my dashboard, okay? So one, two, and three, okay? So let us hide the titles, okay? Now, basing on how I select, like say, if I'm selecting, you know, pie chart, I'm getting pie chart. If I'm selecting line chart, I'm getting line chart. If I'm selecting bar chart, I'm getting bar chart. So this is our traditional method. The same thing, I want to do it using dynamic zone visibility concept. So if you go to layout option here, here you will see control visibility using. So this is technically like a true or false it will work like say when condition matches it will include otherwise it will exclude a very you know easy to understand concept but implementation wise you will find it little confusing initially but once you understand how it is flowing it will be easy for you to understand okay so now what i'm doing is i'm going to second sheet here okay so i'm trying to do it same using dynamic visibility concept here but what I want is I want the same thing like whatever we had here to be performed uh, using some icons here. So for that, what I'm doing is I have created a sheet like this. Okay. So using a dummy sheet, which has three values for me, like say bar, line and pi. Okay. Using that I have created it. I have dropped down to my shapes and I've created this. I'm going to my dashboard and the main point is adding containers here. Okay. So first I've added a vertical, uh, sorry, vertical container here. I'm going to analysis and adding the parameter here. We got the parameter. Now, right next to it, I'm going to add the sheet that we have created for shapes. Okay. I'm writing, adding right next to it. Okay, now we have that. So let us remove all that we don't need. Now my intention is when I click on this bar should come here in this chart type. 
okay let us see if we have any actions okay now see here if i click on this bar here it should be bar if i click on this line it should be line if i click on this pi it should change it to pi the first thing is i need to do it using actions okay so i'm just trying to check dashboard actions add action change parameter value so where is the parameter i am we will be clicking on this sheet for right so that one what is the parameter we want to change select a chart type okay source field is a chart type here okay click okay okay now if i select a bar we got bar if i select line you see we are getting line okay we are select pi we are getting pi okay so i just want to remove this as well for now for now okay now i'm adding another container here below this okay okay i've added it i've just moved it now i'll add all the sheets that we want to work using dynamic zone visibility concept okay you can adjust however you want okay and uh, i'm going to add all my objects here okay so first bar chart i'm adding then line chart uh maybe we'll just we'll take uh, a horizontal container instead of vertical okay it went inside that actually okay i'm moving it above now i'm bringing three sheets into my container one two and three okay so we are just going to hide the title for all of them okay now when i select now what we need to do is simply uh, go to each uh, go to sheet here we need to create three calculations so that our uh, dynamic zone visibility concepts work that is uh, something like this so when do we want our bar chart to be true we want bar chart to be true when we select chart type as bar here in parameter now what will happen if we go to chart here when i select bar bar will be coming in the parameter right so the, which means this will become true same likewise when we select line it will become true for line right so i want this for either true for ball uh, sorry bar are all these two conditions i want that to be true okay you remember here we have all option also right so which means when i want all i want all the charts to be enabled that is what my intention is so i am going to each sheet and i am making first creating those three calculations for bar chart for line chart and also for pie chart three calculations i have duplicated now all that you need to do is go to your sheet okay like say if i go to pie chart i'll select that control visibility using pie so for your line chart so first you need to check which is the sheet you have selected okay we have selected line chart i want that to work based on line chart okay and the same like this one i'll select this control visibility using bar chart okay now see here uh we'll go to dashboard also once again actions edit parameter so when you are not selecting anything i want to set the value to all here because if you remember we made that true right when we are not selecting anything now when i'm selecting bar i'm getting bar when i'm selecting line i'm getting line when i'm selecting pi i got pi but i'm just trying to click on escape button which means i'm clearing the selection here now we got everything here so we just need to click on the select container 
and do little formatting so that you now we can see all of them so this way you can work with the dynamic zone visibility concept so that's it from my side in this video i hope you have learned something new if it does don't forget to you know share your valuable feedback and see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day